Hello, I'm Tom Mitchell, author of How to Rob a Bank, and I'm hiding in my boy's bedroom at the moment. They're downstairs reading. Um, and I'm here to talk to you about my new book, That Time I Got Kidnapped. That Time I Got Kidnapped is a filmic, fun, road trip gone wrong um, kind of book, which follows the main character, Jacob, um, who's won the kind of trip of a lifetime to appear in a superhero film. The only thing is, when he's travelling on his own, he needs to uh, change planes in Chicago. It's snowing, he misses the plane, and because he's an idiot, essentially, he has to, um, well, he decides to cross America uh, on his own, without a plane. Um, and in doing so, he meets Jennifer, is kidnapped by Jennifer, and finds out that Jennifer is being chased by a mysterious figure called the Cowboy. I don't want to reveal any more. Um, but hopefully it's a lot of fun. And I would say this, um, but I think it's an ideal book uh, to read if you want to laugh and you're locked up at home as well. Um, I've got a couple of creative writing challenges too. Um, I think my real job is, is English teacher, so I, I, I enjoy setting creative writing. Um, the first thing I want to do um, is based on something that happens very early on in the book. Um, here we go, there's the book there. And Jacob's mum gives him a list of things that he shouldn't do on his holiday. Um, and I'll read you this list of things. One, lose my passport. Two, miss the plane. Three, agree to carry things for strangers, especially friendly men with beards. Four, eat or drink American things if I wasn't sure what they were. Five, loiter. Uh, six, flush the plane toilet without the seat being down. Seven, forget to exercise my legs and get deep vein thrombosis. Eight, extra marks if you can uh, spell thrombosis. Eight, allow myself to be distracted when leaving the plane. Nine, lose the instructions about the connecting flight. And ten, miss the connecting flight. It's not too much of a spoiler to suggest. Um that he does miss the flight. But anyway, so your first creative writing task I'd like you to complete is a similar list to this. So uh, be funny, be inventive, and I think the more specific, uh, the better as well. So this isn't an activity that uh, is serious really, but come up perhaps with 10, that's what I've done, tips to give someone your age not to do when they're on holiday. And this could be based on some things that have happened to you. So don't pet wild geese, for instance, or don't drink water that smells of sulphur. Those are both things that have happened to me that have ended disastrously uh, in the past. And the second um, creative writing activity I'd like you to do uh, is connected to that idea of uh, the flight. Um, and the bus journey that happens afterwards. I don't always enjoy travelling, um, especially when there's lots of other people around me, um, which means for the lockdown is, is quite a lot of fun because I'm not travelling, there's no one here. But um, a lot of the descriptions in this book are of journeys that Jacob and Jennifer take. So another idea for creative writing is for you to write a nightmare bus journey or a nightmare train journey so um try and think of all the uh, all the many things that could go wrong i mean we're not talking about tragedies or disasters here try and be quite detailed about you know specific annoying things so is someone eating a very smelly kebab in front of you say or is someone listening to music behind you and so you could just describe uh the length of the journey it doesn't have to be very long maybe half an hour on a train or on a bus or on a plane if you wanted to um, describing how this character perhaps is getting more and more angry um, as all these things happen to them. Um, so it's been great speaking to you. I hope you enjoy the book that time I got kidnapped um, and I'd love to hear of any of your um, writing activities if you manage to get them done too. Thank you very much.